What's up, Bigger Pockets? By the end of this, I hope you select me to be on the Bigger Pockets podcast. I did want to just say it is because of you that I am where I'm at today. I control about six million dollars worth of real estate and about three point nine million dollars worth of debts, and I think I'm give or take a two point five millionaire, maybe a three millionaire, depending on what day you ask and those kinds of things. But I wanted to kind of start you guys off the very beginning of everything. Of course, uh, right now, you know I'm. A two and a half millionaire, I have, I don't know, 300 doors, something like that, not owned outright through the bank. You know, it's not syndication stuff. Within 15 months, I retired as a millionaire and continued to scale, and now I invest other people's money uh, for them. And it all sounds really impressive, but all that can start with you guys. So if you're not against it, I'd like to start from the beginning and kind of share where I was at. Because day one, Bigger Pockets, you guys were who really taught me everything. And it really started with solar panels. There's a solar panel guy. We were bidding them out and I really wanted to buy to lower my expenses. And I thought to myself, waking up with my W2 every day, there's no way this is going to be the rest of my life. It's not possible that I have to do this day in, day out, forever, because I'm not going to do it. So I started bidding solar panels and, and trying to reduce my expenses as much as I possibly could. At the end, the guy who won the bid, I said, hey man, if this was your money, what would you do, right? If this was your money, would you buy these solar panels? And he basically said, no, I wouldn't. I would instead use that money and have that pay for your electricity. And so from there, I said, I said oh, well, that's a very odd thing for a solar panel guy to say. So I said, okay, well, if that's the case, then what, what, what should I do? He said, hey man, go to YouTube, type in Burr, B-R-R-R-R, -R -R -R, Bigger Pockets, watch that video. So I started there. After that, I went to episode one and I just watched every single video from there on out until I got caught up, which was like episode 300 at the time. The Rookie Podcast wasn't around. I listened at 2X speed because I didn't know about 3X speed at the time. 2X speed, six hours a day. And at the end of a month, I was completely caught up on my YouTube videos and on the podcast. At that point, I started buying the books. And from there, I was able to get completely caught up in just just about one month and I started an LLC and started making an offer on properties. And as I was making offers on properties, I just kind of learned and figured it out. My day job is full-time manufacturing. As a manufacturer, you know, one thing that we have to really consider is $12 million of raw materials, getting 350 workers internationally to coordinate, to do a finished product. And with that finished product, we completely get it to the customer on time. And with real estate, I had none of that, right? It really didn't cost me hardly anything, any kind of time, anything like that. It was just a big deal. So my unfair advantage was, hi, Ethan. Nice to see you. Hey, you. My unfair advantage was two second lean and it has served me well. Oh, that's a deep hole. Don't fall in. Anyways, if you keep on going, I was able to execute or articulate the burst strategy over and over and over. By month 10, started with $180,000, burned out $279,000, got everybody paid back, owned the houses, continued to burn. After that, I started buying commercial and apartment complexes. I then, very hesitantly, started jumping in and getting involved in partnerships. So I bought a hotel or two uh, for partnerships, began burring and flipping those. To quote Brandon Turner, don't let comma scare you. And that was the big thing. I'd love to share my tips and tricks about how to scale teams super quickly, about how to take the fundamentals of real estate and invest at a very high level to rapidly excel your portfolio. If you're not completely against that idea, I'd love for you to bring me on. We'll see you there. Guys, I'm back home, but I wanted to share with you Again, I was a bigger pockets success story. I started as someone who one of your members reached out and was spreading the word. I then, for free or nearly free, took your information and started executing and taking action. I then started burring and 10 months later, I burred out most or all of my money and I'm still burring to this day and I jumped right into commercial real estate and properties and I'm doing OPM and all the fancy fun stuff. That was all stuff that you guys didn't even know I existed. I am the bigger pocket success story or one of the very, very many of a normal person working W2 job that they can go and become financially independent in such a short amount of time. Not only that, my background is in business. That is the lens I look at the world at and my unfair advantage is my secret weapon, Two Second Lean. And it is specializes in growing and developing teams and people so your business can operate independently without you. And that is the skill set that I brought to the table 
when I decided to get into real estate. Guys, please consider having me on. And if not, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Keep up the hard work. I love the content. I love all the resources. And I will see you at BPCon.